using sensors and controls with digital lighting to create illumination systems that think. On this episode of Light Matters, we take you to a National Science Foundation Engineering Research Center that is leading the charge in the smart lighting revolution. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, and this is Light Matters for August 2017. Researchers in upstate New York are putting the smart in their lighting applications with sensors and detectors that can see, but not invade privacy. We'll take you to the institution that is developing smart systems that will provide information about the room and the occupants in it directly through the lighting. We'll have more on that story coming up. But first, a new polymer material has been developed by scientists at Kent State University in Kent, Ohio, and Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands that can walk itself forward when exposed to light. For their experiment, scientists clamped a strip of the polymer material in a rectangular frame and illuminated it with one fixed LED light source. They then sat back and watched it as it moved on its own. The maximum speed is about half a centimeter per second, equivalent to that of a caterpillar. The researchers think it could be used to transport small items into hard to reach places or to keep the surface of solar cells clean. The scientists say the strips can transport an object uphill that is much bigger and heavier than the device itself. The motion of the new material is due to the fact that one side contracts in reaction to light and the other one expands causing it to bulge when illuminated. The material looks transparent to the human eye, but it fully absorbs the violet light the researchers used, creating a shadow behind it. The research has been published in the journal Nature. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, or RPI, houses a National Science Foundation Engineering Research Center known around campus as LISA, the Center for Lighting-Enabled Systems and Applications. Research at LISA focuses on lighting, sensing and control systems for healthcare, plant science, efficient buildings, cognition, and communications. Photonics Media's news editor, Autumn Pilant, takes us to LISA, where they're developing next-generation solid-state lighting with sensors and detectors that could have the power to transform the way we live, work, and communicate. They call it a smart conference room an advanced test bed designed to study energy efficiency and color controls, room occupancy and location, and other human factors. Here, the ceiling is equipped with 10 five-channel LED fixtures, and each channel is a different color that can be combined to form almost any color imaginable. The room is also equipped with 30 sensors. Actually, two kinds of sensors that researchers use three different ways. The first is a simple color sensor. It's all about the reflected light. That's how we see. So the question that I put to the researchers was, if we put a simple color sensor in the ceiling and just looked at a color map of the room, could I use changes in the color map to be able to figure out where people are? And the simple answer is yes. It works extremely well. Professor Carla Seck and other researchers use color sensing to look at occupancy and tracking. They also use it to digitize reflected light to localize people. The second type of sensor involves time of flight, and there are 18 of these sensors in the smart conference room. They give us full coverage, and um, what they do is they emit infrared beams. And based on like the difference between the emitted and the received beam, we can say, well, is there someone underneath or is there not someone underneath? And by having 18 of them as like a full network, we can say, well, exactly where in the room is someone? And then from there, we can also get information about them. So we can say how many people are in the room. We can say where are they in the room. And because we have individual control of these LEDs, we can say, OK, well, turn this light on for this person. By combining these three modes, LISA researchers are working on building low-cost sensors that will allow them to do high-performance sensing without invading privacy. We can tell where people are, how they're moving around, whether they're standing, sitting. We can detect falls. Through their smart lighting revolution, LISA will continue to use their light sources, sensors, and controls to create new ways to optimize human health, safety, and productivity. Reporting for Photonics Media and Light Matters, I'm Autumn Pilant. Thanks, Autumn. The RPI researchers have a test bed installed at their partner school, the University of New Mexico, 
where they've put this kind of lighting system with sensors in a hospital room to study the effects of lighting on human health and diseases. Lisa also partners with Boston University and Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia. To find out more about what researchers do at Lisa, be sure to check out our Light Matters Extra, online now at photonics.com. There's a new title in the Photonics Media Compilation Series now available at the bookstore. Optical Fabrication is now available, and it's aimed at anyone working on or interested in the methods, materials, and measurement techniques used in modern lens and optical component manufacturing. The 321-page volume includes 40 articles that range in scope from the fundamentals of optical fabrication to technology developments from the past decade. You can get your copy for $69. So go do some shopping at store.photonics.com. And that's it for this month's show. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time, keep following the photons.